Hey guys, Stamming7, and here we are at Ogajia. This is a GP track designed for the wildcard event here at HRL. Going to be a really fun one. Ogajia is a awesome GP course, really long, over a minute long lap times actually, and very difficult to pass at, so we're going to see some interesting racing here at Ogajia. Waiting for the race to start, you see the pyramids, the dope pyramids in the background, and we're green. Detail with a great jump on that inside. He's going to have a great lead already in the first corner, huge lead. Ump goes down, that's unfortunate for him. Just got his first moto win, his first overall win. Tough start to this moto. A lot of beating and banging in the back of the pack, in the front of the pack, it's kind of settled a little bit. Detail and Rebel seem to be your definitive top two drivers at the moment. Gonna be an interesting battle between those two. Rebel actually won his heat, qualified well, and this is a GP track. It's actually not looking that bad here. Uh, we could see Rebel compete here at the GP, which is just insane. Just insane to see him uh, on a track, you know, not of his uh, preference and actually making plays on it. Detail currently in the lead though, and Rebel is falling back a little bit, but at the same time, he just seems to keep in there, get some consistent laps. Uh, getting a good finish in this first moto is definitely going to be imperative to uh, Rebel's future in the championship series if he's able to qualify for it. Commando pack here. Uh, just having a decent run in the back of the pack, trying to work his way down in, uh, on Cat. Commando's actually still in the top five, so yeah, not a bad run for him. There's Opix, already up to fourth. Um, Opix decided to get his two wildcard spots that he could do, uh, just in here. And the main incentive for Opix to do it is kind of for bragging rights, because if he gets some good, uh, some decent finishes here, he'll be able to get some points back, and he'll be able to hold on to his position. If he does not, uh, get some decent finishes, then there's a very high chance that Detail, his teammate, or Cat even, um, could pass him up in the points, which again, for Championship Series, oh, Fireball, keep it together, for Championship Series, that doesn't have really any implications at all, it just, uh, it's mainly just for bragging rights, you know, you want to finish as high in the regular season as you can, I mean, you'd rather finish, I mean, that's the reason why everybody's battling for the championship, right, you just want to finish as high as you can, and even if you can't win the championship, you know, you still want to be as high in there as possible. I definitely don't believe the Ricky Bobby philosophy uh, with if he ain't first, you're last. That is total bull cheese. I would definitely rather finish second than, than 16th. Just personal opinion, though. I mean, there are some people, though, that do have that mindset where if you finish second, you might as well have finished 16th, which I don't I don't think that's a bad mind. It's just not a rational mindset. It's not a bad mindset to have, though, because it's definitely a great motivator. If you want to motivate yourself to win, that is the mindset you need. You need to be dissatisfied uh, or unsatisfied with with anything less than the absolute perfection, the absolute excellence. That's the best way. Oh, what is going on here? What the heck? John Cena just came into the track, turkey shot uh, his, his nephew or something? I don't know. He's an idiot. He left his controller out for someone in his family to take control of, and that person's also an idiot, and just John Cena's onto the track, RKO's out of nowhere, and cheeses everybody in that mid-pack. That is just the utmost unfortunate thing that could happen in this situation. I honestly really feel bad for all those drivers in the middle of the pack. That's going to open up a huge gap uh, for the top three drivers. Wow. That... That is what you call a wild card right there. That, that, that is what you call a wild card. That, you, you cannot predict something like that to happen. That's just ridiculous. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely... We're definitely going to have to do something about that next season. Um, I think we're going to have some rules on, on cautions and, and situations like that if something stupid like that happens. Uh, but for the case of this wild card race, we're going to stay green. It's just an, an unfortunate scenario, an unfortunate circumstance. Uh, and I, I definitely really feel bad for those mid-pack drivers because they could, I mean, they, they had the distance. They could have had a good run and actually, like, possibly made it up to the lead or the podium even and, and made some passes there. But now, now it's not really possible. I highly doubt any of those guys could have that good of a run as to uh, get in podium position. Wow, um, just going ham on that last corner. Almost taking himself out. Pretty good save right there out of him. And this battle for the lead is heating up. Look at this. Rebel's actually gotten that gap back down on detail. Rebel is low-key clocking some hot laps right now. Cool. Had a little burp action. All right, so 
Yeah, Rebel is definitely uh, clocking in some really good laps right here, and, and Rebel's competitive, man. It's interesting, like, nobody really would have predicted him to be performing this well at the GP and, and not even getting podium. He didn't even get a podium. Not a single podium in a moto at the at, at Longshore. It was just insane. You know, the, the predictions so far in this wildcard are pretty much going exactly opposite as to what uh, people said in the podcast. Which, if you didn't listen to that podcast, podcast number seven, go check it out. <laughs> podcast number eight, coming to you this week. Going to be uploaded Thursday night. And by Thursday night, I mean Friday morning. And by Friday morning, I mean, like, morning, like, two in the morning. Morning, so. Uh, but there will be another podcast, that is for sure. And there you see Turkey Tard <laughs> uh, on the inside rumble there, shooting at the drivers. Yeah, you can't really do anything about ten-year-old nephews getting control of the controller, although it is definitely, without a doubt, uh, Turkey's fault. I think he should have had a little bit more prudence in that situation and should have saw that coming, but oh well, not really anything you can do about it now. I mean, he probably was getting cheesed by someone and uh, had some responsibility to attend to, so it's not entirely his fault, but again, just an unfortunate scenario, but enough of focusing on that. Let's focus on this great battle we have for the lead right here, Detail and Rebel. And this has just been a fun battle to watch. They haven't actually been, like, side by side, but they've just been close. And Rebel's been getting back up to him, and then Detail gets a lead, but then Rebel just catches back up. It seems like they're definitely um, faster than each other in different areas of the track. Uh, there's definitely some variety uh, in where the time is made up. I think Rebel... Well, I mean, obviously right here he's getting, like, right on details of for Rebel. Seems to be really strong in, like, the second sector of the track. Whereas, like, the final sector, Detail starts to make some moves and starts to get away from him. Uh, first sector's kind of even, but definitely a bit of a difference there. And I think that this middle sector, which we're just about ending here, uh, seems, to be, seems to be Rebel's strong suit of the track and Detail's weakness. But this final sector, I think detail, I think this is where he gets a little bit of his time back. So let's watch this. Let's see if he can get that gap up. Because Rebel was just on his bumper, so he's definitely extending it a little bit. Sir Ump got, gained another position right there. Got into fourth place. Cat still solidly in third. And that, yeah, there you can see detail. He definitely, I think he got like a goose length back. But still, Rebel is close. And he is closing in. If you're detail, you got to be nervous right here. I mean, detail already on the whole is just racing for confidence, racing for finishes. Uh, not really, there's, there's not huge stakes for detail, but for Rebel, there's huge stakes. Rebel has absolutely something to lose here, whereas detail, not necessarily, doesn't really have anything to lose, but Rebel does, and detail's gotta be thinking about that, he's gotta be thinking, oh man, this guy's gonna be fighting, he's gonna be doing everything he possibly can to get behind me, oh no, and detail has an ultimate choke, I have to explain that real quick, so detail recently purchased an elite controller and if you're not familiar with the elite controller or with scuffs which is totally what it's based off of um they have paddles on the back of the controller and those paddles are designed essentially to be uh where your fingers rest so that you can have another like easy location um to assign buttons to uh, and and it's just easier. Paddles are just really convenient, especially for jumping. A lot of people use the paddles like for jumping in games, especially in a game like Halo, uh, like Call of Duty, where the jetpacks are really important. Battlefield, eh, not so much, but like Halo or Call of Duty, they'll use the paddles for jumping, um, just because it's easier. It's, it's easier on your on your hands um, than clawing. And if you don't know what clawing is, look that up, and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> it's it's what I do. I still claw, but. I'm just used to it at this point. I don't really think it hurts my hands. I'm sure it does. Um, but I don't notice it. So, anyways, regardless, uh, I'm, I'm going way too verbose in this explanation. Anyways, so he has those paddles, and he has one of the paddles set to the button that uh, changes his seat. So he was clenching his controller really hard, and he accidentally hit the paddle, and he freaking switched seats while in the lead and lost the lead to Rebel. And that is just... Man, that is one of the most unfortunate situations that you can get while in the lead. I I really feel bad for Detail. That's honestly just unfortunate, and he's definitely going to have to figure out uh, how to fix that. I mean, you know, perhaps uh, re remap the buttons, maybe, and, and change that up. Uh, perhaps you should do that. I, I don't know. He definitely needs a way to fix it, maybe change the way he holds the controller. The easier way is probably just to remap the buttons, but 
definitely, or I'm sure you could remove the paddles, I believe, so you could do it during races if you want to do that. Anyways, I digress. He definitely needs a way to fix that for the future because he, in, when he's in the Champ Series, he cannot afford. He cannot afford to be doing that. I mean, I mean, here he's in second place right now, and if he does not catch back up to Rebel, he still gets a solid finish. In the Champ Series, that's not going to happen. If he does that in the Champ Series, he's going to go out of podium position. So, detail definitely needs to figure that out for the final weekend. But nevertheless, here we come to the white flag approaching it soon here rebel is still in the lead but detail is actually closing in now before it was rebel closing in on detail but then rebel got by and now rebel is just trying to hold on and detail is the one in second which is kind of advantageous in this position i would even argue and yeah details railing fast laps fast corners he's right there on rebel man this is not good rebel is just gotta hold those insides and just race smooth race clean on this way out because if rebel gets this one moto win he doesn't even need the overall if he gets this one moto win right here he can seal the deal and just lock his way into the championship series so this is huge implications here uh here guys we could see uh one of the, one of the drivers for sure uh that was in the bubble lock their way in to that wild card position we could see rebel do it here if he can hold off for just a few more corners details right there he's just diving going doing everything he can trying to get every inkling of space on the track but i don't think he's going to be able to do it just going hard on the inside but rebels got the run down the last corner here we go to the final stretch and that's it rebels gonna take the victory here at ogajia and he is hype he's celebrating because he knows he knows that that's it he knows that he just sealed his way into the championship series unbelievable congrats to rebel uh amazing race out of him unfortunate for detail though but oh well um still comes on for a second place still gets another podium so good for him on that but yeah congrats to rebel man way to freaking work your way into the champ series so he's confirmed but now we go into this next moto and we have some more implications turkey's gonna race in the next moto can he eliminate vulcan can ump get a moto win and and work his way uh, into the champ series which is what he's gonna need ump is gonna need a moto win and an overall and an overall oh man this is huge actually now that i think about it he got the one on longshore so all he needs is a moto win now huge implications guys see you there